hello everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to fix usb drive not showing up usb device not recognized or even it's not showing in device manager or disk management then what you can do what happened that when you plug in your usb drive or any external drive you get a sound that it has been detected but it doesn't show up on your file explorer on your disk management and even in the device manager so what you need to do i will be explaining a few effective solutions that i already applied on my own pc and i got the solution and i would be recommending you to do the same so the very first solution that i would recommend you that try updating your windows because about a week back i tried many solutions and then finally i updated my windows and the problem got fixed how you can do that click on your search box type update from the suggestion choose check for updates the windows update option will be up here you have to click on check for updates and if there are any update available it will let you know probably it will automatically download and install it so wait until it's been completed and once updated check back if the problem has been fixed and if not then you can close it now click on your search box type here services and hit enter the services box will be up now here you have to restart few services like plug and play so just scroll down to plug and play double click on it and then make sure that the service status is set to running and the startup type has been set to automatic and in case if it's not running then you have to click on a start and if it's already running then you have to click on a stop the startup type should be set to automatic and then click on a start again then click on ok and now you have to look for another service that will be crypto graphic services so look for it then double click on it and again make sure that the services status is set to running the startup type has been set to automatic if not then you have to click on start to run the service and if it's already running then you have to click on stop from the drop down make sure the starter type has been set to automatic and then start the service again then click on apply and then click on ok now you can close this box again click on the search box type here control and then hit enter and here you have to look for hardware and sound in case if you do not see such kind of interface then from the top click on the view by section and choose to category here you have to click on add a device and now it will be detecting a device so make sure that your usb or external drive has been connected and plugged into your computer now once the scanning has been done you have to check for any kind of usb device uh shown in the hardware section if you get it then you have to click on it and then click on next why i'm recommending this method because many people uh, suggested and told that this method work for them so you can also try the solution all right in case if this also doesn't work for you then you have to click on your search box type here powershell right click on windows powershell and choose run as administrator then click on yes the blue window will be coming up now here you have to paste the path the command that you will be getting in the description that will be msdt.exe space minus id space device diagnostic hit enter and you will be getting a page that says troubleshooting and help prevent computer problems now here you have to click on advanced and make sure apply repairs automatically section has been checked then click on next and now it will be detecting the problem with your hardware and if there is any issue it will try to resolve it so just wait until this scanning has been done and now it says select a device to troubleshoot so if you get your device listed over here then you have to click on it and if not then click i don't see my device listed all right so in my end uh, the problem has been already fixed so i'm not getting any kind of suggestion but probably you will be getting some recommendation and auto fix so you have to apply the settings after doing this you can close it and then you have to click again on the windows icon and choose device manager in the device manager you have to scroll down to universal serial bus controllers double click on it and just look for your device if you get any device with a blue mark or a yellow mark then you have to look for it you need to make a right click on it and choose uninstall device all right in case if you're not getting here then you have to plug out your usb and then plug in back all right so you'll be getting this yellow kind of exclamation mark so you just need to get that device listed over here you can also look above in the system devices as well 
and once you get it you have to uninstall it by clicking uninstall device and after that from the top menu click on action and then click on scan for hardware changes once you do that your device will be reinstalled again all right you can try this method as well and it's really if you have the issues then you have to make a right click on windows icon again and choose disk management so you will be getting your device over here so in case if it doesn't show you drive letter okay then what you have to do you need to make a right click on it and click change drive letter and path and then you need to add a path for this drive and after giving the drive letter to this drive i'm very sure that your problem will be fixed now in case after applying all the solution is still if you have the issues then what you have to do you need to restore your computer to the date where your computer was working fine and was properly showing your all kind of usb and ex external drives so what you can do you can click on search box type here rstrui.exe hit enter now it says restore system file and setting currently i do not have any kind of restore point but if you will be having a restore then you will be getting an options and choose the date when your computer was working fine when you were able to uh, work properly on your usb drive choose that date follow the instruction and restore your computer so i'm very sure guys after applying all these solution your problem of a uh, usb drive not detected not showing will be fixed this will be applicable for both windows 10 and 11 if this worked for you do not forget to like and subscribe and if you still have any issues then let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye